Hi, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a combo box in Microsoft Access. A combo box, if you don't know what that is, is one of those little drop down, click, and select your option things. You mostly see them online if you haven't used one before. When you're registering for a website and it asks you what state you live in or what year um, your credit card expires or something like that, it's just like little click the arrow and it has a little drop down menu. You'll know it when you see it and be like, oh yeah, I know those. So, this can be particularly useful using access in the way I'm going to show for small business owners that want to use inventory um, use it to like keep inventory on their items. I am, in this example, a small business owner. Um, I own a sports memorabilia store and this is my collection of basketball cards I'm going to sell. So you can see I have some information, player, card year, team, signed. If it's a rookie card, the condition and the price. So to make the combo box, you have to create a form. If you don't know how to do that, click on create. If you've already created these tabs and just click on form, it'll just make a form for all the stuff already for you. And form would be right up here. So I'm going to click on my form, which is right here. And I'm in design view, which is where I need to be. So this says condition CB. That is like the condition combo box. So I'm going to show you what this has done after I create the um, create another one. It's going to be like a cooking show. I'll show you all the steps and then I'll have another, a new one already made by the end of the, the end of the video. So to create a combo box, you got to go up here, click on design for the tab and you have all these different options. This thing right here is the combo box. So just click and drag, make it however you want. That'll do. Um, so this gives you options of where you want it to get the information you from. from. So for this case, I'll type in the values I want. So we'll just say, since this is going to be for the condition, I'm doing air quotes right now, we'll just create three basic things really quickly. Good, fair, and poor. So that's done. Go to next. I want to store these values in the field. And since this is for the condition, I'll put it in the condition field. Click on next. Create the name for the combo box. Since I already have a condition one, I'll do other condition combo box. And normally, in this case, I'd create finish. I'd click finish. It would all show up right here, as you can see. That would create it. I don't want to create it, though, because I've already made one. So I'll click cancel. Delete that. Oh, there we go. Delete. And click on delete there. There we go. So we already have this condition combo box made. Um, I can have the options on here. And I'll show you these options as I go to the normal view. So for each of these players, we'll just stick here with Carl Malone. You can go click and it gives you the drop down menu of the different um, conditions the card can be in. So, and you can apply this, of course, in any aspect you can think of for a small business. But, for example, we said Carl Malone's card that we had was in near mint condition. Go through, you can see some of the different things really quickly. And rather than having to type in all these by hand, you can type all of the possible options in once and create a combo box. And with that, you can be set and good to go and create all of these things and have them all show up right here where they need to be. So that was a really quick little tutorial on creating a combo box. I hope you learned something good. If you didn't learn something good, I hope you can find another video that can help you do that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.